guys, what is up? It's Greg here from Personal Evolution today, coming at you with another news update, uh, looking at the latest crypto news. We're going to look at, take a quick look at the market, see what's happening. Uh, then we cover the massive news from yesterday, which was PayPal uh, crypto, and why that might not be as good as we hoped for. We'll then look at the crypto total market cap and why we're seeing bullish signs across there and Bitcoin. Uh, we'll then have a quick detour into BACT, which was something that came up in 2017, recently went public three months ago and is now launching. And then we'll talk about Uniswap and why, you know, there's, there's also downward pressure on that price uh, due to a hack. Um, and then we'll round off with what's coming up in the crypto markets you want to be watching. So yeah, really stay tuned for the end there. I think it's always important to know what's coming up so we can uh, react accordingly. Um, and yeah, if that sounds good, please give us a like, please give us a subscribe and we'll jump straight into the news. So let's take a look at today's coin market cap stats to start. As I said, Bitcoin looking strong still, but everything else apart from Binance in the top 10 having a, a nice red day, which is always nice to see because we can pick up more stuff at discount prices. I'd say maybe avoid Uniswap until the end, until we've looked at the bad news for them. But yeah, I thought that was a nice way to start. Like I say, we've got red across the board, a few notable exceptions, Filecoin, Binance Chain and uh, Binance Coin and Bitcoin. So let's get to the big news of yesterday. About an hour after I did yesterday's news update, PayPal allowed, announced that its crypto spending was going. Now, this wasn't as good as we initially we had hoped that it was going to be a direct crypto payment to merchants and merchants were going to be able to accept those as crypto. But PayPal digital wallets can now convert their crypto holdings into fiat to make purchases. Yeah, you are actually pay, paying with cryptocurrencies here. There's no kind of, there's no blockchain transactions being made, most likely not even for the sell action. So PayPal probably just going to skim more fees off the top and charge people for the novelty of paying in the crypto. It, it's good that it gets it out there a bit more and hopefully brings more people into the space because PayPal is such a huge uh, consumer app. So yeah, quite bullish, but yeah, a bit disappointed in its actual offering. Moving on to that, to really positive news. Crypto nears 2 trillion uh, market cap as Bitcoin and USD close quarter highs. Yeah, so top news, markets record back, market records back to, markets record back to back gains as industry nears 2 trillion. Bitcoin heading towards 60,000 on the back of one of its strongest quarter in years. And the US dollar is, has also performed well. So Bitcoin is heading towards 60,000. Let's take a look at what it's currently at. 58,000, up 4.3% in the last seven days. Cointelegraph here reporting that it's near its all time high. They point out that 73K is the next level to watch. So it's it's a critical support zone with that we've been touching on the downsides that holds for more upside. Total market cap also looks bullish. And finally, Bitcoin dominance chart is approaching the critical zone. Now, we talked about this yesterday where the dominance of Bitcoin, if I just jump to the graph, is super important for when it signals altcoin all season. So the last altcoin all coin season happened, began kind of mid, mid to late 2017. And you can see this cliff of Bitcoin's dominance go down. So really, we're all watching here to see whether the dominance of Bitcoin is going to drop back to 37% at some point, 32% here. And that really signals when the altcoin season has got under full swing. So if it starts dropping, it drops past maybe 50%, so only a 9% point move, we could be into alt season in a really big way. I know the indicators yesterday were saying that we are it. Again, I, I had my doubts, but yeah, this is what we're seeing, especially with the drop off yesterday of that nice little drop off of the altcoins. But yeah, total market cap approaching 2 trillion. And yeah, I think we touched a high of 1.92 trillion yesterday. So that's really great news with 26% of gold's market caps. And yeah, I think that's really strong bullish news. So coming on to backed, so they finally launched their consumer wallet 
for a digital assets, including Bitcoin. Backed came out of the dark in 2018 and they went public on the New York Stock Exchange via a SPAC, which is quite interesting. And if we just have a look at the SPAC price chart, so the ticker is VIH and yeah, this is the backed back chart really. It's interesting how they went to went public this way. It was valued at 2.1 billion, but only had about 500,000 users in testing. Although what it does seem to offer is cryptocurrency, loyalty and rapport points, reward points and gift cards. It's basically designed to amplify consumer spending. Now they've got some pretty big partners. I think Starbucks is involved as well as Best Buy, Golf Now and Choice Hotel. So it's got a strong start. I don't know whether it's worth that much, but the crypto markets are crazy and maybe this is just getting some of the shine from them. So yeah, thought that was an interesting thing. Again, bringing, the, bringing crypto to the masses. And the final story from today and why you might want to think about Uniswap before you buy into it. So Uniswap trading volumes were normal or higher and it turned out to be a Delta token of something called Delta token put through 6.13 billion in swaps. And the reason they did this, they hacked it because they had a bit of a fallout with Uniswap basically. So this isn't good news for Uniswap because the they're losing trust and they're a decentralized exchange. Even though, as Hayden Adams points out, Uniswap.info, where does he say this, isn't even a decentralized protocol. It's just a, an analysis tool. Even Hayden Adams, the founder of Uniswap, was saying like, this is silly because we removed that, we removed all that trading volume because it was fraudulent. And yeah, but oh, a 0x revert attack will continue until data trading history is reinstated and we get an, an apology from Uniswap for abusing centralized power. So bit of FUD coming on around uh, Uniswap. We've still got a huge problem with fees and it's, yeah, it's just craziness still. Yeah, still, I'm um, personally still bullish on PancakeSwap until this gets resolved and layer two Ethereum comes out. So finally, rounding off, as I usually try and do with these, even though I've only done a couple, a few upcoming events, same as yesterday, really, Cardano, looking for some bullish news today. We've got Chili's, which announced the new Pro Fighting League fan token. Theta Network, which I touched on in another video, I think they're doing a DEX release, so that will be interesting. This is a really great website, by the way, just to get the latest news, and they give you coin potential significant and hot, hot projects coming up. So yeah, if you want more, jump on this. It's a really great app. And that is it for today. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please give us a like um, and a subscribe. Comment below if I've missed out any massive news that you think we should be sharing. And until next time, yeah, keep buying the dip. <laughs>